Thousands of the world's best athletes are marching together in one stadium this morning for the opening ceremony of the Winter Olympics. But the most talked about moment was happening in the stands. Take a look at this fascinating picture. You can see the vice president there, Mike Pence. He is in the front. But then look, just behind him a few feet, sitting right behind him. That is Kim Jong-un's sister. And this comes hours after the vice president called North Korea, quote, the most tyrannical regime on the planet. And of course, President Trump and Kim Jong-un have traded strong rhetoric over Pyongyang's nuclear program, including a recent back and forth about the size of their nuclear buttons. CNN's Will Ripley is live from Pyongyang for us, uh, South Korea. This is where the Olympics are being hosted. So, Will, um, the picture is remarkable. You've been inside of North Korea many, many times, talked with officials there. Is this the kind of propaganda victory that they hope to achieve? Uh, well, certainly uh, to have Kim Jong-un's sister, Kim Yo-jong, sitting uh, nearly directly behind the vice president of the United States, it uh, provides legitimacy. Uh, it's a way to showcase North Korea on a world stage. And keep in mind, just yesterday, North Korea hosted a massive military parade where they displayed more intercontinental ballistic missiles at once than they ever have before. And if you think those optics, if you think that photo was dramatic, Vice President Pence, we're learning, actually switched seats. He didn't follow the official Blue House seating chart. If he followed that seating chart, Kim Yo-jong, the sister of Kim Jong-un, would have been sitting directly behind him. And he wasn't going to have that, but still, obviously, very close. Uh, and it, it, incredibly awkward if they were to bump into each other, even though uh, sources who were there, uh, pool reporters who were there, say that there was no interaction between the North Koreans and uh, the vice president. Uh, in fact, the vice president skipped a dinner that was scheduled earlier in the evening with the North Korean delegation and South Korea's President Moon Jae-in. He had a previously scheduled dinner with U.S. Olympians. Um, but it's been, uh, it's been quite a, a contrast when you have Vice President Pence using those words, tyrannical regime. He had Fred Warmbier, the father of Otto Warmbier, the, the student from uh, the University of Virginia who died six days after being released from North Korean custody. They were meeting with North Korean defectors. There was a photo released of Fred Warmbier hugging one of the defectors. Vice President Pence saying that he stands with the North Korean people who yearn for freedom. Him. And at the same time, you have South Korea's President Moon Jae-in shaking hands with Kim Jong-un's sister and the North Korea's ceremonial head of state, Kim Jong-nam. And they're going to have this lunch tomorrow at the Blue House in Seoul, where diplomatic sources are telling me it's very likely that uh, Kim Jong-un's sister may pass along a message from the North Korean leader, may even invite him to visit North Korea at some point later on this year. So clearly, Brianna, she was sent here on a diplomatic mission that many believe uh, was a mission to try to drive a wedge between the United States and South Korea and to try to extend this buffer uh, where it makes it pretty difficult for the United States to act in any meaningful way.